Hey there, Janae with Palin Projects here and in today's video I'm going to talk about seed saving. So I think I mentioned early on in one of my first videos that I was going to try this year to really save seeds. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why I like to do that. A, it's free seeds, so it's free uh, plants that I get to grow. Basically my cost is in the dirt uh, that I, I start them in or even if I don't start them then I literally have no cost. Uh, so it's just putting a seed in the ground and seeing what I get. Um, the other reason why I like to save seed is because it might not be a variety that I have or that I've bought and I want to try and grow that in my garden. And then <clears throat> the third reason basically is because I want to have more of those uh, seeds and I, I don't necessarily want to buy them. I'm not selling them, I'm just saving them for my consumption. Sometimes I give them away as uh, gifts at Christmas time or uh, throughout the year for birthdays or something like that if I know that my friend really likes and enjoys uh, plants in their garden. Uh, I'll give them, you know, a variety of seeds um, or I'll start a variety of plants and give those starts away as well. It's something that I like to do for my friends and family and, um, you know, if, if you want to do that as well, here's some great tips. There is a difference between uh, open pollinated plants. Uh, they That means that the plant is basically open pollinated and it can cross pollinate. So the seeds that I get from the watermelon that I'm gonna show you how I, I save those seeds, uh, they might not be true to the plant and most likely they won't be true to that plant, which is okay. I still wanna give it a try and see what happens. Um, sometimes it can be kind of a fun experiment and uh, you know, I might get a piece of fruit that's even better than the original. So uh, worst comes to worst, I don't like it. I throw the seeds away and I go out and buy yellow watermelon seeds. Uh, I'll be saving seeds from my delphiniums and foxglove as well. And then I also noticed that some of my straw flowers are seeding. So I wanted to save some of those. Uh, I'm going to be using a Ziploc bag today. Um, you can just lay out uh, the seed pods and kind of shake them out on a piece of paper or a napkin or paper towel or whatever. Um, I'm going to try a Ziploc bag and just kind of put the seed pods in there and shake them all about and you know do the hokey pokey. We'll see how that works, but I did want to try and save some foxglove seed, uh, delphinium seed, the straw straw flower seed. I think I have some sal salvia seed out there. Um, I'm kind of trying to look and see what else is. I do have broccoli uh, that I let go to seed. I didn't order any more broccoli seeds and I believe I used them all this year. So I did let my broccoli see my broccoli heads go to seed and my plan is to harvest seeds from those so that I can have broccoli next year without having to buy seed as well. Uh, I think that is the only items that are ready in my garden. I might have some bee balm as well, but that's my plan for this video. So let's get after it. Okay, so right there is the straw flowers that went to seed. So all I'm gonna do is take my shears, or my, um, my clippers, and I'm just gonna clip off each head that is going to seed. Very carefully. I'm gonna have straw flowers for years here. Oh my goodness, look at all of those seeds. Look at all of them. So that is one head of straw flower. Look at all those seeds. Glorious. So these foxglove have been spent for quite a while, so I'm not sure how many seeds I'm going to get out of them. I think most of them might have fallen, but we're going to cut a couple stalks and see what happens. So same thing, shears come in here and just basically deadhead. Oh, that one had a lock. Okay, on to the delphiniums. Here's my spent delphinium, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the foxglove. Come in here and just 
take the basically dead head. Just like that. And then go over here and just see. It does spread seed all over, but I'm okay with that in this area. I would be okay with a wall of delphiniums here. So this is where I was going to collect the seed from the salvia, but I don't think any of it is ready, or at least not to the point where it's easy to pick. Um, I don't know if you can hear the ducks. They are wanting their lunch. <laughs> Crazy ducks. Um, but I usually like to pick it a little later than this, just for ease of picking. Um, so I'll give this a couple more weeks. I don't know. Let's go check out the asters. I think these guys got nipped by the cold, so I won't necessarily be able to get seed from them, I don't think, which is unfortunate. But there's a couple other good flowers, so I'll try and let the asters go, uh, go to seed and see what happens. So, I have two hummingbirds that are just loving this play in the blue salvia as well. So this is my bee balm, and th it, this doesn't look ready yet either. Um, so I'll give this a couple weeks and then show you guys uh, how to collect seed from that. But I used to have three big bee balm plants here, and I over deadheaded them, and so I'm thankful this one came back. But if I look, yeah, these guys aren't even remotely close. I thought they, I might have a couple heads ready, but it doesn't look look like it so that's fine we'll go and collect seed from what we have so i have to show you guys this as well so <laughs> this uh zinnia mix is called polar bear and it's supposed to be all white and i have a random it's like a fuchsia purpley pinkish bloom absolutely gorgeous and i'm not upset at all with it i think it's just beautiful but it's just kind of funny that an all white giant zinnia mix and I have a purple one. I might be able to collect, yeah look at those guys. We might give this a couple, well that seed head fell off pretty easily so um yeah collect a couple seed heads from my stand by me clematis and see if they grow next year. Okay so you might be wondering how I um I know when my plants are ready, so I don't deadhead. What is deadheading? It means when the, the blooms are spent uh, that you clip them off. You typically do this with petunias, uh, delphiniums, you can be sheared all the way back, salvia can be, can be uh, foxglove, I don't think, I think they're a once and done, but um, you wanna deadhead them afterwards just for, for beauty aspect. Um, you know, the seed pods, when they're dried up, they're not super beautiful, but that's okay. Um, um, I'm fine with it. Delphiniums, if you do deadhead delphiniums, they will actually flush another bloom. So you'll get uh, two or three, I think I've gotten up to four sets of blooms off of a plant in a year. Uh, if I just keep deadheading, they'll just keep producing those bloom spikes in order to produce seed to reproduce their um, their plant. So um, I didn't deadhead my, my plants and I just let them dry up uh, the seed pods basically. So I have I have a delphinium one, oops, delphinium one right here. Um, so these are the seed pods. These were flowers at one point in time and the bees come, pollinate, and then leave. Um, there's a mix of delphiniums in that area and I'm fine with a mix. I don't have to have the originals. Uh, delphiniums are just beautiful to me and I love them. So uh, I, you know, let the bees pollinate obviously and then, um, let the blooms die back. Uh, it looks like there might be a spider's nest in that one. Yee. I'm gonna toss that to the floor. Uh, let the blooms uh, dry up and then, this one only had one, um, there's little seeds in them. Let me see if I can pull another. And this is kind of where I wanted the Ziploc baggie to come in so that I didn't have to tear apart these blooms or these spent blooms and I can just 
I'll show it to you guys, but I can just turn the um, stock upside down in the Ziploc bag and just shake it. And all of these seeds should come out. And I can collect however many I want because I have plenty more in my garden, which is exciting. Um, I actually, <laughs> I laid the fox glove down and I'll show you guys, but there's like seeds all over the table. So I do recommend, um, see, there's a couple. Um, I do recommend doing this outside because it can be messy. Uh, Justin, I saved a whole bunch of seed pods last year for the winter time and I was going through them in the winter and, at our kitchen table and it makes a mess. I mean, it's because you have all of these little bits and pieces of flour and spent flour and they just, they get everywhere, which is kind of funny, but uh, I, you know, I think it's a good time and um, I would rather save seed. Not that I don't uh, enjoy buying seed, because I do enjoy buying seeds and new varieties, but you know, there's only so many seeds that come in a packet and they can get, you know, rather spendy. But I do like to bring new varieties into my garden. You know, the zinnias I didn't have last year. I had a, a mix of zinnias that I bought from a box store, but I have specific, you know, queen lime zinnias and polar bear zinnias this year, and that's kind of fun to have, but I definitely want to save seed from those so that I can have them for years to come and not have to rely on a store to buy them from. So uh, let me go grab some Ziploc bags though and show you what I'm gonna do. First off, look at all of those seeds just from laying these seed heads on the table. Same, so those were the delphiniums. These are the foxglove, and foxglove seeds are really tiny, but I don't know if you can see all of those. These are all foxglove seeds sitting on the table. So I'm going to have thousands of seeds. These are all the heads that I pulled off of the straw flowers, and I'll put these directly into uh, the little brown, manila envelopes that I have for seeds. So those will go dire directly into those. I'm not going to play with them too much right now because of the wind. Okay, so it is a little windy, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take each stem and shake it. Put that bad boy down. There's a little piece that fell in here of the stem. But look at like all of these seeds came from that one little stalk. I could probably break each individual one apart and get some more seeds, but we'll see what I, I gather from the rest of these stalks. So yeah, put it in. And shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey, right? That's what it's all about. Oh, these are stuck together. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. That looks pretty good. This one definitely has smaller seed pods. So I bet if I went through that one individually, I would get more out of it, but that's okay. That one okay. So, I'm gonna reuse this Ziploc bag again, uh, but I'm going to take what I have here. I'll take them inside and show you how many seeds I got. Again, I probably could have taken each individual seed pod apart and gotten a little bit more, but this is plenty, especially with what I have on the table. So I'm just gonna scrape the table off uh, and put those seeds in here as well. Okay, now on to some foxglove. Let's see what I get. I think that's like the most satisfying sound too, is hearing all of those seeds <laughs> fall.
fall into this bag. And don't make fun of me for saying bag. I live in Montana. Or basically Canada. Sorry, my Canadian friends. Not a joke to you. Definitely a joke on me. There are so many seeds in there already. Look at all those seeds. There's probably, I mean, easily a thousand seeds in there. That is insane. And that doesn't count? What's on the table? I'll turn you around so you guys can see. All that stuff that looks like dust, those are foxglove seeds. So I'm back inside the house and I have, we, we cut up, pre-cut up our watermelon. So every time we bring a watermelon or any kind of melon into the house, I cut it up and we put it into bowls. Uh, we just eat it better that way. But this is my bowl of watermelon. Um, I do have some seeds that are pre-saved over here. Uh, before I get into the seed saving process of uh, watermelons or melons or, um, you know, squashes or anything like that. Um, I did want to <clears throat> note that foxglove and delphinium are poisonous to animals. So my dogs, the cat, um, our poultry. I don't typically compost that stuff either just because it's poisonous. So um, for watermelons, since they don't have a protective coating, um, I just simply pull the seeds out, put them in water, and then I'll pull them out of the water and dry them. So here's another one and I'll put in the water. So I don't, hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. You can see there's one, two, three seeds in here. There's one seed that's floating. I'm going to discard that seed. If they float, they're bad. If they sink, they're good or they're, they're better. Let's put it that way. They have a better shot of, uh, germinating if they sink. So I'll put those on my napkin. Here we go. So I put them on the napkin to dry out. And then once they're dry, I put them in my little manila envelopes labeled appropriately. So I have yellow watermelon uh, 2021. So I know the year that I saved them as well. As uh, seeds age, they do lose their germination rate. So that's why I put the year on them. But I'm gonna go through um, each of the seeds that I saved today. So um, obviously I have the yellow watermelon already, but I'm gonna put blue delphinium 2021, uh, purple straw flower 2021, foxglove 2021, and stand by me clematis 2021, uh, just so that I know the year, what it is. I will, um, typically I will put a little picture too, cause I take pictures throughout the year of my garden. Um, I'll try and put a little picture here so I remember what they look like. Uh, so I have a descriptive element and then I have a visual element of the seed as well. So. I just, uh, you know, I, I find that that helps me when I'm picking through seeds um, in the winter time to remember what they looked like and uh, what year that I, I saved them. So 
Uh, that is what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day is uh, putting little seed packets together to give away to family and friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. And just like that, all the seeds are packaged and ready to go for whatever I'm going to use them for. So I got one, two, three, four, five straw flowers, one stand by me clematis, one, two blue delphiniums, one, two, three, four, five foxglove, um, and then one yellow watermelon. Honestly, I probably could have created more. <clears throat> especially of the foxglove. All I did was I reached in and grabbed like a pinch and then put uh, put the pinch in each of the little containers and that's more than enough seed. I probably put a couple hundred uh, seeds in each packet. So, but that was my first haul of seeds for the 2021 season. Woohoo!